ticks are nasty little creatures that can effectively be described as blood-sucking, disease-carrying arachnids. They're particularly prevalent during the spring and summer, and the bad news is that in the UK, with its increasingly mild, wetter climate, they're on the rise. Whilst there is no definitive data on tick densities, some experts estimate that in some areas they may be as many as 50 to 100 per square metre. So what's all this got to do with deer stalking? Well deer are in fact one of the primary carriers of ticks and ticks in turn can be carriers of Lyme's disease. At this time of year all deer stalkers, ramblers, hunters and those that enjoy outdoor activities in the countryside should be aware of the signs and symptoms of Lyme's disease and how to prevent it. That said, just because you have a tick bite does not automatically mean that you have contracted the disease. More good news, if caught early, Lyme's disease is very treatable, so don't panic. In the course of my professional deer stalker's career, I have frequently been bitten by ticks and have as yet, touch wood, not contracted the disease. Nonetheless, you should not be complacent, and as well as recognising the signs and symptoms, you should also take precautions that will help you avoid getting bitten. Clothing here is key. This year, since wearing clothing from rovins, I've managed to avoid experiencing a single bite. The reason being that the clothing is impregnated with tick resistant protection during production. Tests in the EU have shown it to be 98% effective against tick bites. Secondly, when dealing with a carcass, it is particularly important to be aware of the transfer of ticks from the deer to yourself. As the carcass cools, any resident ticks will be looking for the next available host, i.e. you. So be cautious to avoid contact where possible. Ticks may be found all over the animal. However, there is usually a greater burden around the groin area. If the burden is very high, you should consider condemning the carcass, or at the very least, inspect the carcass more closely, as this could be a sign of ill health. On this particular animal, that was shot earlier this morning, the ticks are fairly obvious. Here you can see how they burrow into the skin whereupon they will remain tightly attached whilst they feed. Let's take a closer look at some of the ticks that we have removed from our roebuck. Mature ticks have eight legs and vary in size from a mere two millimetres to those that are engorged, whereupon they can reach up to 10 millimetres in length. They really are nasty little critters. Amongst these ticks that we removed from our roebuck, we can even see one tick feeding off another. After an outing's deer stalking, you should first of all check yourself. Ticks can often go unnoticed, and it is possible that sometimes you may not notice it for a day or two. So continue to check, particularly around your waist, groin and armpits. If you're unlucky enough to be bitten, don't panic. Simply remove the tick by gently grasping it close to the skin as possible, preferably using fine tweezers or a tick removal tool. You should then monitor the area for signs and symptoms. Lyme's disease is a bacterial infection passed to humans and affects a few thousand people every year. The earliest and most common symptom of Lyme's disease is a pink or red circular rash that develops around the area of the bite three to 30 days after you have been bitten. The rash is described as appearing like a bullseye on a dartboard. You should be aware that other signs of the disease may include blue-like symptoms such as tiredness, headaches and muscle joint pain. If you experience any one of these symptoms and suspect Lyme's disease, then speak to your GP and make them aware of your concerns. We hope that this film has been helpful. Of course, the chances are you will never contract the disease. However, it does happen and if caught early is treatable with antibiotics. If ignored however, it can lead to long-term health problems. The key therefore, as with most diseases, is early diagnosis and treatment. <laughs>